For today's video I'm going to do something um, similar to this painting here with these layers, this kind of abstract landscape and I did actually put Neo Colour on top of this. I'm not sure if I'll use Neo Colour on this one or not but I'm going to use a limited colour palette. So I've got um, Cerulean Blue, I've got Cobalt Blue, I've got Payne's Grey and I've got Burnt Sienna and I'm going to probably add a little bit of aqua pasto as well and I'm going to use quite a big brush for some of the layers and I've got a smaller brush here and just a silicon tool there I might use that to make some marks so my palette I've already got um, some paint in here which I don't want to waste so I've kept it in there and I've got um, the cerulean blue mixed with the Payne's grey in the middle and the Payne's Grey mixed with the Cobalt Blue here and then I'll use these other parts to put um, some of the other colours. Um, and I've got two glasses of clean water as well. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I bought this low-tack tape, yes, tape yesterday from my art shop and I'm just going to um, make a rectangle on this piece of paper. Okay, so I've taped off my area here and what I'm going to do first is I'm going to wet the whole paper because I'm going to do a bit of wet and wet work to start with. And this is where you have to be careful um, that your brushes and your water are dust free. I seem to get quite a bit of dust sometimes on my brushes so I, I try to um, wash them before I get started. There's quite a few little marks on this paper but I'm not going to worry about that because that's going to get covered up with the paint. Let's get some of those dusty bits out. Okay, so to start with I'm going to um, lay down a band of um, burnt sienna with the cobalt blue and actually I've just realised that that's, that's cobalt deep blue, that's not the one I want. I want this one which is just the normal cobalt blue so I'm going to switch that one in and I'm just mixing that there with the burnt sienna. Okay, so I'm going to use a smaller brush to mix the paint and that's going to make a nice neutral colour. Um, and it's quite dark, so I'm going to I'm going to put the paint on fairly thin. I think I'm going to put I think I'll put a little bit more of the cobalt blue in there. It's a little looking a little bit too um, brown. So that's made a sort of nice kind of bluey grey colour. Okay, so I won't add the aqua pasto to this layer. I'm just going to put a, a band of that colour across the middle of my paper. I just want this to be a sort of free flowing landscape feel. Um, I'm going to put a bit of cerulean blue down at the bottom and I'm actually going to mix that with a tiny bit of the burnt sienna as well, just a little bit. I'm adding sort of slightly more neutral colours to start with. Um, and then I'll, I'll leave some white gaps so that when I put um, some slightly brighter colours down you will, you will see some colour. So this is making a quite a nice sort of greeny grey. I'll just put a 
little bit of that down at the bottom. Now that's gone on very thin, too thin really. But you never know, this might make some nice effects. Okay, so I'm not gonna completely wait for this to dry and I'm gonna put some of this, um, I'm gonna put some of this Payne's Grey and Cobalt Blue down on top. Now it started to rain, so that's what you can hear in the background. Now again, this is, this is gonna be quite a dark color. Now I'm just in two minds whether to let this dry. Now I think I'll go for it. I'm gonna lay it down at the top. That's the thing with these abstract paintings, with these sort of semi-abstract paintings, you start off with an idea and then you, you put the paint down and then you kind of make decisions as you go along. And I'm looking for my knife because I want to score some marks in. I think I'm going to have to go and get it. I couldn't actually find my knife but I've, I've got a blade here. I'm just going to scratch in lightly some lines here which will become dark. Now I don't want that to be such a hard line so I'm going to get my smaller brush and I'm just going to run it over the top of that line, put a tiny bit of water on there and that's just going to soften the edge of that just slightly, it's just softened it. Um, okay so I really want to keep this painting very simple and not add, not overdo it with the layers. So I'm going to put another layer down here and for that I'm going to use, I think I'll use the Cerulean Blue. I don't think I'm going to mix it with anything. I'm just going to use it as it is. Let's see what happens. It might be a bit too bright but I could add something over the top afterwards if I wanted to. And I think I will add a thickish line, but after that I might I might start to try and add some thinner lines in just to give some variety between these lines. Now that's quite nice actually. It's not too strong, it's gone on top of that grey. I'm liking all these colours together. I know I'm going to have to do something up here at the top. I'm almost tempted to turn the painting around because I think that the dark might look better at the bottom rather than at the top. Let's see what happens. So it's kind of quite a, um, looks a bit like a dip there rather than a mountain, but that might be nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it this way up. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll add some of the cobalt blue down here at the bottom. I think the aim of this painting today is to try not to, try to just do a few layers and just keep it really simple. Um, that, that's, that's a good way of sort of keeping the vibrancy of the watercolour. If you put too many layers you can start to kind of muddy the colours a bit. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Okay, so I've got some cobalt blue on my brush there. Now I'm wondering whether to add the aquapasto. Yes, I'm going to add a little bit of aquapasto to that. Now this aquapasto just slightly changes the um, texture of the paint and it makes it a little bit thicker. And I think what I might do, once I've got it down, is use my squidgy to just drag the paint across the paper. So 
let's see what happens. Right, let me get my squidgy. I can just kind of smooth it out a bit. And you get these quite nice um, lines at the top of the squidgy. Now, I'm going to try and put a bit more. Well, I was going to say I think I'm going to put a bit more down there, but I don't think I will. Uh, I think I'm actually going to just leave this to dry and then see where we are with it. Okay, so this is dried now. Um, I'm liking the way that it's looking. You could almost leave it like that as a painting, but I'm going to keep going and add just sort of maybe one or two more layers and keeping it quite light. And I'm going to stick with the same color palette because I'm, I'm really happy with these colors. Um, so now what I'm going to do across, I don't want the top to be too light compared with the bottom, so I'll, I'll move, I'll go from the top to the bottom and I'll, I'll put another layer on top here. I think I'm going to try and keep that white there. Um, or I might not, I might just, I might just leave some of this here. So I'm going to go over it again with cerulean blue mixed with burnt sienna. Now I'm adding in a bit less water, but just putting it on top of the paint will make the color a bit more saturated. So I'm gonna add that there at the top. Okay, and again, I don't really want this hard line. I'm gonna get my paintbrush tiny bit of water on it and just run it along the bottom. And that's just softening that edge a bit. And then do the same at the top. Okay. So I'm going to put another band across the middle there. And this is cerulean blue mixed with burnt sienna and a little bit of the aqua pasto. I'm going to put quite a quite a wide brush across there. Just move it across the paper. And just literally use the squidgy of it on the edge just to kind of soften that just a little bit. And then what I'll do is I'll make another, I'll make a mark in that I think. Now the paper has buckled, so the way that I'm going to deal with that is I'm going to hold it like that while I move my squidgy down. Because I don't want the water, I don't want the paint to gather um, in the areas where it's where it's um, you know a bit curved. Okay, so what I've done now is I've mixed together some of the cobalt blue with the cerulean blue and a tiny bit of the burnt sienna and I'm gonna put quite a watery but quite a thick band across the top and I've put aqua pasta in there as well so I'll be able to use the squidgy. Now I might just do a little test. Okay I'm tempted to add a little bit more water. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm going to try and 
I want to leave some of that white in really, but I don't know if it's going to be possible. I think I, I might have to go over it, I think. Let's just go for it. Okay, so I'm really liking how this painting is turning out. I think the light has changed a bit and I've spent quite a long time working out what to do next um, because I'm at that point where I feel like it needs something but I just, it's nearly finished and I don't want to ruin it. So what I've decided to do is to put um, a warm gray line across here because I don't really like the shape of well, I like the shape of this line, but I just want to break it up a little bit. Um, so I've made a warm grey with my burnt sienna and some of my blues. And I'm just going to run that over the top. Um, I've got a test here. So that's going to go something like that. Now I'm actually going to hold my paper like that so that the crease doesn't get in the way and I'm going to do quite a thin layer of it. So right, let's go for it. Okay, so that's obviously made that quite a bit darker. Um, which really has kind of changed the painting quite a lot, but it's going to dry and I think it's going to dry um, It's going to dry lighter. So let's see what happens once it's dry Okay, so that is more or less dry now and it has dried lighter and I'm happy with it I think it's just provided a bit of um, tonal balance and just a little bit of a focal point and I definitely want the painting to be at this orientation so what I'm going to do now I'm just going to take the tape off and then I'm going to decide whether or not to put any neo um, color pastel on it okay I'll, I'll speed the video up while I do this although I do just want to jump in and say that um, this masking tape that I got from my art shop is fantastic and I haven't even had to heat it up or anything it's just coming off really nicely so I will ask them what the brand is and I'll try and put a link to that in the description okay so obviously I've got paint here so I'm just going to take this away and trim it and then I'll bring it back 
Okay, so I've trimmed off the edges and this is the finished painting. Um, I may add a line of Neo Pastel at the top in a lighter colour, I'm not sure. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to give myself a bit of space from this painting. So I really hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. It's been a little bit different, a bit longer than my other videos. Um, I hope that you found it interesting and if you did please hit like and if you'd like to see similar videos in the future then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you. Bye.